Hi there, this is Heather Morgan with Kiss the Cook. Today we're making no-bake baked beans for our pulled pork dinner. Remember how we started the pork roast in the morning to cook low and slow? Well, once your meat is in the crock pot, we're going to soak navy beans for this recipe. And you want to make sure that there's lots of space uh, between the beans and the top of the water because they do soak in the water and they expand. So you may have to add water as the day goes on. One trick that I like to use is using just a little bit of baking soda while these beans are soaking. And this is going to help extract uh, the lectins that are in most grains and most legumes. Now the longer that you soak, the more of those lectins will be removed and the faster they'll cook. So lectins are in many raw legumes and grains and it can cause digestive issues and may lead to some autoimmune issues such as Crohn's or celiac disease, but they're easily removed just by soaking and by the cooking process. And the benefits of these nutritious foods far outweigh the negative effects of the trace amounts of lectins that are in here. So we're just gonna let these soak for the day and make sure you add water as you need to. Normally, I soak my beans overnight or for about eight hours, but because I was in a pinch for time today, I brought these beans up to a boil and then I let them sit and soak for about six hours. So that trick shaved about a couple hours off of my soak time. Um, so now that the beans have soaked for six hours, we're gonna rinse these. Look how beautiful those are. They're going to be so creamy. So now we're going to place your beans back in your pot. Gonna fill that with some nice fresh water and add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. And you want the water to just cover the beans and you want to make sure that they stay moist. If the moisture goes down below the bean while it's boiling, just add a little water as you go. Now we're going to bring that over to our stove for cooking. So once you get those beans up to a hard boil, we're just going to give them a little stir, make sure they're not sticking on the bottom. We've got the temperature on high just to get the water up to a hard boil. Once she's boiled up, we're going to turn it down to a low temperature. We're going to close that up and let that cook for about an hour. One of the things we have to get ready for our no-baked baked beans is our bacon. And we're just going to slice that pretty thin and we're going to fry that up with the onions a little bit later. It's going to be so delicious. Okay, I've rinsed my knife. And we're ready to get our onion chopped up here. Now the way to chop an onion, if you're not familiar, I just cut off both sides, both ends. Take that off to the side. And then you're just gonna cut it right down the middle and peel away the onion skin until you're left with just the beautiful white flesh of the onion. And for your garlic, um, what I like to do is just take a nice flat surface, you just take your clove, push down, because this is going to get chopped up anyway, and that should be able to make it easier to get that peel off. I'm going to do the same thing as the onions. I'm going to slice it one way, keeping your fingers tucked in, and then I'm just going to flip it the other way. Now for this recipe, um, you can be pretty messy with your onions and your garlic because they're going to get cooked down. And that's good. And the first thing we're going to throw in is our four slices of bacon. And we'll get a nice fry on that. Once the bacon is 
cooked for a couple minutes, you're going to want to throw your onions in. And we remember we had chopped up a medium onion. And I also threw in the garlic all together with that. There's two cloves of garlic and one medium onion. And mix that up real nice. And oh my god, there is just nothing better than the smell of bacon and onions mixed together. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It's absolutely delicious. And we're just going to cook that until it's translucent. Now that we have those onions cooked down and the bacon's rendering its fat very nicely, we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar. I use Bragg's. And I love the apple cider vinegar. But you could use white vinegar if that's what you have in the house. I'm just going to let that cook down just a little bit. Not much. Oh, the smell is just amazing. And while that's cooking down, I'm going to add the salt and the pepper. We're also going to add the brown sugar. Now we're ready for the molasses. We've got two tablespoons of molasses. And there's two. Messy stuff. One tablespoon of mustard. You can get fancy and do Dijon if you want. There's nothing wrong with a little yellow mustard in this dish. So get that stirred up. And you add your water. That's half a cup of water. We're on a medium-high flame, if you're curious to know. That's why we're moving pretty quick on this. And once the water is fully immersed in the mixture, we're going to add two cups of crushed tomatoes. Give it a good stir. The last step we're going to do is add those beans. And that's three cups of beans right into the mixture. mixed up and we'll close that up and let that cook for about a half an hour.